Robbie McCullough. I am one of the co-founders of Beaver Builder. Um, I'm a marketer and developer, designer, and here at WordPress contributor today. Cool. So how is it going for Beaver Builder these days? Uh, it's going well. It's going well. Um, we've been fortunate to continue to see growth of our product. Um, it's been a really interesting couple of years with Gutenberg. Um, but we're uh, we're fans. We've been supporters since day one, and we've been you know again really lucky to get to contribute some of our expertise in that space to the to the core team. And it's been exciting to watch the uh, product develop and mature. And, and now that it's actually in core, uh, it's a big day, big week. So yeah, that's yeah, been a good. It's been a good thing. Uh, I hope it continues to be a good thing now that it's live, and, and we'll get to see like how the community embraces it and runs with it. So, for a while, everyone had been really worried about page builders, and um, they were worried that Gutenberg might put page builders out of business. Where do you see Beaver Builder in the new Gutenberg era? Yeah, one of the decisions we made kind of in response to the news of Gutenberg early on was that we wanted to double down on our kind of professional power users. Um, we It took us kind of a long time in our growth as a business to figure out who our customers were, um, and as we got better than that, we kind of realized that there was two kind of like distinct camps. One that was like a do-it-yourselfer type, someone maybe had a small business or a hobby website and wanted to use WordPress but wasn't familiar with writing code. And then the other was um, kind of like more of like a freelancer, maybe a one or two person agency, people that were building lots of websites and had uh, development and front-end skills. So we see that as kind of the space we want to live now. I think Gutenberg is going to be great for everyone, but for particularly like folks that maybe aren't as tech savvy or that, you know, like Matt's kind of mentioned a few times, aren't comfortable getting into the code editor and hacking around. Uh, so we're hoping to continue solving problems and making the experience better for, for folks that maybe uh, a little bit more, more skills in the tool belt. So what's the current integration um, between Gutenberg and Beaver Builder right now? Right now, so Gutenberg, up until just a few days ago, right, was an alternate to the WordPress editor, and Beaver Builder was always an alternate editor experience. So it was it was relatively simple for us to be compatible with Gutenberg, and that all we had to do was make it so that you could switch between the two seamlessly. Um, we've been talking to some people here at WordCamp and hearing like, not horror stories, but just having. Um, like the WP Beginner guys were telling us, oh, <laughs> maybe that's a competitive submission. I said, let me give you another example. People were having to do a lot more legwork of updating screenshots and, and you know, updating code and, and doing deep integrations with blocks. Um, whereas ours was it's pretty much as simple as like being able to get back and forth between the WordPress editor, which is now Gutenberg, and Beaver. Um, in the future, we're really interested and curious to see if we can kind of blend those two experiences together, um, whether that means like bringing locks into Beaver Builder or Beaver Builder content into Gutenberg and, and how we can build better experiences with the two. Um, but then we're kind of, we've been waiting to see and waiting for you know, Gutenberg to go live and really see how quickly the community adopts it before making any major decisions or, or kind of running in that direction. Okay, and then phase two is supposed to go into site customization too. Does um, what en ends up happening in core does that affect Beaver Builder's decisions going forward as far as what solutions you're going to pursue? Um, yeah, sure. I think we've been kind of taking a play it by ear approach as opposed to trying to um, guess at where the project is going or, or trying to anticipate. Um, so, yeah, I mean, in a short answer, yes. Um, it's like, I, I wish we knew what that looked like. I think I've said this a number of times throughout the last couple of years. Like, we, we wish we could kind of see into the future and see, like, what it looks like when Gutenberg starts tackling site customization and gets into the different phases. Uh, and we have a lot of fun ideas of maybe what that could be or what we could do in that space. But uh, it's, we, we haven't wanted to, like, invest a lot of development or time and resources into, into building things until we have a kind of better idea. So it's a little bit of a waiting game and, and kind of seeing where, where the puck is heading, right? And, like, and anticipating where we need to be, but not like making a sprint for it mm -hmm. prematurely. So it seems like um, widgets and menus are kind of up next yeah. in the site customization phase. And I didn't see too much related to layouts, and I think a few other people commented on that. So, so for page builders, it looks like there's still 
one of the strongest solutions in that area. Um, how long do you think that's going to last, and and what do you what are you looking at for the future? Uh, I think that the core team in developing Gutenberg has really pushed things to a certain point, um, and now. What I'd like to see and what I think would be great is if the community kind of jumps in and runs with it. I think some of the more, you know, fine-tuned and advanced layouts and, and things like when, when um, like, what do themes look like in a Gutenberg world, right? Where we're still kind of figuring out what that, what that's going to be and what kind of possibilities you can, you can create things, you can build designs, you can, you can do with Gutenberg and theming. Um, and I think it's really going to, the, the rate that the community adopts Gutenberg is going to, set that pace and, and uh, so uh, you know of course my, my hope is that there's still going to be a place for page builders you know a beaver builder and everyone in the space to kind of have a little bit more agility and start playing around in some of the more um, you know, you know like playing around with browser technologies or, or, or more fine-tuned controls and again kind of trying to like work in that space of like the, the cutting edge and professional um, Whereas, like, I, I've used this analogy a few times, but, like, we could see Gutenberg being kind of like uh, Instagram and that it's going to appeal to a mass audience and then we'd like to kind of live in the Photoshop space where you're going to get, you know, a lot of fine tuned control solving problems and creating features that are going to help people build websites every day.